So uh, today we have the last lecture that will be devoted to uh, rare decays and new results from LHCB experiment and some profits in uh, flavor physics, so in future experiments. Uh, so let me remind you that we finished the previous lecture uh, just constructing this unitary triangle, uh, uh, which is uh, measured uh, both from uh, angles. These three angles were measured uh, quite precisely. The gamma is the uh, worst case, uh, where the, uh, the errors are about 10 degrees. All others are okay. Beta is uh, better than one degree. Alpha is about four degrees. And uh, we also measured all the sides of this triangle. So we compared yesterday in uh, sides uh, measurements with sample measurements. Uh, we can play another game, just trying to compare the uh, measurements where we use only three uh, diagrams and uh, only loops diagram, okay, so, uh, in involving loops. And uh, because this one are free from new physics, so three diagrams is uh, when we are pretty sure that, that there is no contribution from new physics, and here new, new physics can appear, and they still quite nicely consistent, uh, these two measurements. So these regions of intersections of two uh, measurements are in the same place. Uh, so uh, we know from cosmology that the CP violation which we have in the standard model is, is too small. So if we use this uh, cosmological model and uh, introduce the uh, measured CP violation, we could expect that uh, the number of variants now is too small. It's about 10 orders of magnitude smaller than it's required. Uh, and actually we are very happy with this because this is uh, an indication that we uh, should have uh, new physics somewhere uh, close to what we uh, the present experimental limits and uh, this is a good motivation. And uh, if we think about this is not the only uh, reason why we should have uh, physics beyond the standard model as I told you at the first lecture that uh, there are many problems within the standard, just intrinsic problems for the standard model or uh, experimental problems for the standard model. The, the, therefore, it should be extended. Uh, there should be the theory that uh, use uh, where the standard model is just a low energy effective theory. And uh, if we try to extend the standard model, this, uh, this uh, uh, new ideas should not break uh, the uh, good agreements that we have now with this between the experiment and the standard model predictions. Uh, of course, uh, these new ideas should be also reasonable, so it, it's just not randomly introduce new fields uh, uh, or new particles. Uh, they should uh, solve somehow the problems of the standard model. For example, SUSIP, uh, which is besides that this is very nice symmetry, uh, solve some problems. Uh, for example, ultraviolet reversal system standard model, some uh, uh, running of uh, constants and uh, uh, self coupling of the Higgs heat field is uh, partially solved. So, uh, if we consider SUSI uh, and we expect that uh, because of supersymmetry breaking, the new uh, super partners will appear at the scale of above 1 dV. Uh, but still, they can contribute to the uh, loops and uh, box diagrams, which we uh, also measure uh, in, in the B-method case. And uh, these uh, new particles, uh, because of breaking, there are a lot of number of, uh, of uh, new free parameters, uh, and they also include the new sources of CP violation that can appear in the measurements of uh, CP violation in B-methods. Uh, besides su supersymmetry, uh, I will also consider the models with four generations uh, because if you have uh, another generation of uh, quarks and leptons uh, in this case uh, our matrix becomes matrix uh, four by four and uh, the presence of three-dimensional matrix is just sub-matrix of this one and the unitary condition is no more valid for this three by three matrix uh, therefore we can experimentally see some divergences in, in the triangle Measurements. So we now measure this only with a accuracy of about 10%. Uh, 
uh, this means that contributions of new physics is smaller than contribution of the standard model, but we cannot exclude, of course, uh, something below 10% new amplitude. Uh, another example is two, 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 two doublets of uh, Higgs uh, uh, the, the, uh, instead of the single uh, Higgs doublet, we can introduce another one. There is no restriction on the number of uh, Higgs particles. And in this case, we will get, in addition to uh, standard Higgs, we will have another two neutral and two charged Higgs. And uh, actually, if we have no restrictions on the uh, couplings of this new uh, uh, new edit uh, Higgs doublet, uh, in this case, we will introduce two large city relation and probably uh, flavor change in neutral colors will be larger than experimental limits. So we need some restrictions here. Uh, we impose some flavor preservation, assuming that uh, the extra uh, Higgs doublet uh, coupled to the standard model particles in the same way for it, uh, as the uh, first Higgs uh, doublet. Okay, so let's move here. And uh, yesterday, in uh, the first lecture, we discussed uh, this uh, kabayashi Maskawa CP violation due to uh, due to coupling of uh, the Higgs fields to uh, our our quarks, and now we are looking at something non kabayashi power CP violation, uh, which can come from from any uh, any physics beyond the standard model. And uh, let me introduce a new player in, in the experimental part. This is a LHCB experiment that started. Uh, you know that LHCB started already quite long ago, but uh, the data the, the, uh, which is reasonable for analysis were taken only last two years, and LHCB uh, get these statistics. So this is the history of how they acquired the statistics last two years, and they have uh, now more than about three or center bars to analyze well, not all of this data is already analyzed so the new results I guess will appear soon. And uh, it should be noted that for charged moles when uh, being as indicates for the intercharged particles, uh, LHCB is already uh, is more sensitive for measurements than uh, to refactories. Uh, because using charged particles, using the common vertex of this charged particle, they can have uh, very few uh, sample dimensions. Uh, but for neutrals, uh, they are not compact. So only the very energetic photons can be used for analysis, for example. They can study uh, radiative pigment decays. And uh, in other players, uh, which are uh, which works uh, in uh, experimental part is uh, averaging groups because <coughs> we have a lot of data, we have a lot of analysis uh, and uh, we need to somehow to leverage them and uh, it's now done by special professional groups, this one, who compete uh, trying to find something new, uh, just manipulating with experimental data and uh, usually we don't like them too much because they just use our data and uh, finally they sometimes get uh, came to the conclusion that, that they find the new physics rather than the experimentalist who made the analysis. So this is one of the example. Uh, so it was five years ago uh, when UT Fit collaboration, UT Fit <coughs> just concluded that they have uh, a significant evidence for new physics uh, just using CDF and this new data on the cyber mixing. Uh, and uh, just to illustrate how this three sigma uh, discovery uh, that was uh, five years ago, it looks now as a very nice uh, agreement between the standard model and the experiment. Uh, okay, so let, let's move to physics and uh, so there are penguins, penguins diagrams which uh, very interesting because it can involve the super supersymmetric particle or any, any other particles that can be. And, uh, and I would like to remind you that 
sind sehr, äh, äh, the term pen penguin appeared because of uh, some bad, oh, it disappeared too, too, too quickly, uh, because of some bad uh, that was 30 years ago between physicists and they bet for uh, the loser should uh, use the name penguin in his next, uh, next uh, paper and uh, Ellis who lost uh, this bet had to use this name in his paper so he introduced this term penguin uh, and uh, we know that uh, the penguin contribution for KMDK should be important very much and this was uh, pointed out by uh, ITEP uh, theorists uh, Zakhara von Schiffman and Weinstein, who is from Novosibirsk. And uh, for B mesons, uh, the pending contribution is small. And at yesterday's lecture, this uh, pending contribution was actually background for us. We tried to kill them, but today we will study uh, this, uh, this small contribution from pending decays. It's about 1% of the total. Uh, this is about 1% branch fraction for uh, inclusively B mesom decay into penguin via penguin diagrams. And uh, today we uh, will discuss how can we study the, how can we search the new physics in uh, penguin books. So one example is here. Uh, besides uh, the decay of B in the J psyche in case shot, we can also study the decay of uh, B in the phi case shot. And this is pure opinion, pure opinion area. That's why it's, it's very small. So the number of uh, reconstructed events is quite small. Uh, but it's very clear. There is no three contribution uh, to this final state. So you cannot produce a three S quarks and D quark from B mesm uh, without this pinion. It means that uh, if we calculate, we, we, check, we have only single a uh, single uh, amplitude for this transition. And uh, this uh, single uh, diagram includes this VTS, uh, which it, it can be calculated that VTS is uh, just equal to VCB, and uh, it's real actually. So it, it means that uh, from this uh, from this uh, final state, we can measure the same sign of two beta, like we do in the psychic shot, and they should be equal. If they are not equal, it means that something new continues to this loop. It can be supersymmetry or something else. Uh, let's look what we have in the data. Uh, this is the uh, many, many final states which we are measured. And this is average of Bavarian and Bell results. Uh, this is indirect CP asymmetry, this is direct CP asymmetry. It should be exactly zero if there is no, if there is just one diagram. If there are two diagrams, it can be not zero. So what we see from the data? Actually, we had uh, again we had some uh, big dis uh, discrepancy between the measurement and the standard models. It was about 3.5 sigma in some channels. In total, it was about three sigma original all this. And now it's disappeared. So now we have very nice agreement. And it's uh, quite strange thing that usually this uh, three sigma discrepancy appears when uh, some funding agency is, is thinking about funding some experiments. So uh, this was also in our case. Uh, so now, now you see that the, uh, they're just nicely agreed. So this is just equal. This is a uh, sign of 2 beta measure from Jepsyke shot, and this is effective uh, sign of 2 beta, uh, beta effective, which is measured from immune decays. They are very nicely equal. And uh, direct CP symmetry is also, uh, this is one. It's uh, also. Uh, consistent with zero. Uh, another example where we can study the same uh, very similar one is uh, okay, this, this loop, which is not big, this is just a box diagram. Uh, and if we do this for B sub S method, uh, it's very similar to B jib side shot. But uh, in, in case of B sub S methods, this triangle, unitarity triangle, is almost, uh, it uh, it's has two sides which are very low and one is very small. Therefore, this, all, all these angles are either zero or uh, 90 degrees. It means that there should be no CP asymmetry if we uh, study this uh, final state. 
which can be, by the way, quite easily understood because uh, if you see, there is no uh, first generation works involved in the in any of this diagram. It means that uh, all diagrams that include only uh, the second and the third generation. And remember that within two generations we have no city violation. Uh, Misha should should tell me that uh, I, I have ignored it again. New core contribution to uh, sorry to this loop, but it, it, it's it's very small. So uh, this this should be the CP violation should almost disappear in this final state uh, when we study CP asymmetry. And we can see now the results of many experiments, but the most precise is uh, at the HCD. It's here, it's the HCD uh, result. Also, other LHC experiment tried to, to measure this with slightly worse precision. And we have also data from D0. And this is the result. So if uh, they measured this angle from CPI symmetry in P to J psi phi uh, to be exactly zero. And they also measured another final state, J psi phi phi, which uh, also uh, includes some uh, final state with S, S is bar measurements, F0 F, F, F and F2 measurements. And also uh, they measured this angle to be consistent with zero. So now, if we show all these two LHC results, we have uh, we measure this, uh, this angle beta, beta S is quite nice precision of about 8%. It's consistent with zero as, as usual. And uh, this is another test of uh, contribution of new particles to the uh, box and loot diagrams. Uh, another thing, uh, decay is uh, electronic beginning. So here we, here we have these two diagrams that result in uh, this final state, uh, so S quark produced K and K star, and two letters which uh, come from either ZDK or via uh, this diagram. So these two contributions are shown here. We have Wilson coefficients here, which corresponds to different helicity, uh, helicity operators uh, in the uh, DK, and they can be calculated quite nicely uh, in the standard model with. Uh, quite small uh, uncertainty because of uh, QCD contribution, so this is for factors which uh, appeared in the calculations. And uh, the interesting sense that, that we can, we can uh, see the p-violating effect here, it's not surprising, but uh, the effect is uh, that we have forward backward asymmetry in uh, lepton production uh, from, this, from this decay model. So uh, now we have many experimental results. So this is two B factories, uh, some, uh, some measurement from CBF, and now LHCB is uh, the most precise one in this uh, final state. And uh, if, if there is some contribution from new physics, we can, uh, we can expect some violation, some, some disagreement between the prediction of theory for forward backward asymmetry. So this is the theory prediction is bad. Uh, how this forward backward asymmetry, which is from minus one to one, uh, how it uh, depends on Q square, uh, which is actually equal to mass of uh, two lepton's here. Uh, how it depends on, on Q square, so it has uh, some uh, complicated shape. And one important point is where is this uh, shape, where is the, uh, this dependence cross this zero angle? Because in this case, uh, some uh, some uncertainties in QCD are cancelled. Uh, due to these four factors. And uh, now LHCB measures this the most precisely, so they fit the, the data in this small region, which is uh, the most uh, uh, sensitive to new physics contribution, and uh, finds this crossing point uh, like 4.8 GV, and the standard model prediction is about 4 GV, and they are consistent with these servers. So we still see no contribution from your physics in this diagram as well. Uh, another example of penguin decays is radiated. So in this case, uh, we can expect the contribution of uh, charged Higgs if, if there, there are uh, two, uh, two Higgs doublets. And uh, so to this loop. So in addition to W, uh, charged Higgs can contribute. So it's, it's coupled uh, to 
uh, so its coupling constant is related to the mass of the particles, uh, so it's quite quite big one. Of course, it's, it should be suppressed uh, if it's if uh, the Higgs is uh, charged Higgs is scale. And experimentally, it's quite difficult see, to measure the uh, what we need. We, we need to measure the bridge and compare with the standard model prediction. And it's a quite difficult task because uh, if we have quite a small number of backgrounds uh, at the, around the endpoint of the photon spectrum, here the background is huge because there are a lot of uh, other photons in the uh, mesons decays coming from by zeros. And uh, experimentally, it's, it's, it's a difficult task to measure this. Nevertheless, both it can be done only at big factories, it cannot be done at the LHCB. And uh, both the factories uh, measure this uh, using some different tricks uh, how to kill this background. So, uh, Babar results is just appeared uh, last year at the ICHIP conference. Uh, and uh, you can see that they are consistent with the standard model prediction, which is, which is this bad. And if we, if we, if we, uh, from this, this measurement, we can, we can uh, have some upper limit. Okay, so the lower limit for the mass of the Higgs particles in this loop. And uh, this is a standard model, and this is experimental uh, results. Uh, so taking into account the experimental errors, we can now put the uh, lower limit for the mass of Higgs of about 300 GV. So uh, these radiated pigments, which we measure at 5 GV particle, are sensitive to the uh, particles which, uh, which uh, has mass about 300 GV. This is a good example of how uh, loops can, be, can measure the physics uh, well, well above what LHC uh, can do now. Uh, another very recent result is uh, measurement of uh, B sub S to a minimum. I think this is the lowest uh, range ratio ever, ever measured. And uh, this is prediction for, from the standard model because this is DK mode. Uh, this is two diagrams that continue to the decay of this abyss in the minus. And in addition to this, there uh, is a uh, uh, second order. Uh, so this is, this is uh, it's involved uh, two, uh, four, four vertices of big, four big vertices. It's also, in addition, uh, helicity surprise. And again, new, new physics can contribute to this and enhance uh, the branch infection for uh, this decay mode. So it's proportional to, uh, the contribution is proportional to this tangent, so beta, which is the ratio of the uh, vacuum expectation of values, for example, for the uh, Higgs. Uh, and uh, during the uh, last Several years there was some race between different experiments trying to push down this upper limit. And already this one is very close to the standard model prediction. So the standard model is here. Uh, they started about one order of magnitude larger upper limit. And uh, LHCB last year uh, published the result where the upper limit is very close. And quite very recently they show the result where they have an evidence for this signal. Let me stress again, this is the lowest ever, ever measured branch infection. It's about 10 to the minus, 10 to the minus 9. So this, this is a signal. And it's, it's quite a quite, uh, difficult uh, situation because they have uh, hundreds of strengths here in the detector. And only vertex can, uh, can uh, help to uh, kill all the big ground that they have. And uh, of course, uh, the, the measurements cannot uh, cannot uh, exclude some models, but it can already very uh, restrict the parameters of uh, any models uh, beyond the standard model. Uh, so this is a standard model value. This, for example, we need to the value to the So we cut a lot of uh, space of parameters of the. Uh, New physics. Sorry, can you repeat again what the prediction is and what the graph? Uh, <coughs> hmm? What is the prediction of the graph and what is the graph? 
the prediction of the standard model is uh, exactly what uh, they measured. So it's just let me uh, here the standard model prediction, three times ten to the minus nine, and this is what they measured. They exactly uh, what is predicted. Uh, another another very rare uh, decay mode is uh, be it a, a B decay in the town. You know. Uh, again, we can study, we can try to find the bit or bit decay into mild uh, muon and neutrino, but it's least suppressed. And in the case of tau, it's, uh, the branch attraction is not uh, so small. Uh, again, charge X can, can contribute here. And the uh, last three or four years, uh, Bell and Babar are seeing the signals of uh, bit decay in the tau. And it's very difficult to see because we have a lot of neutrinos here. We cannot reconstruct them. And the idea is to, talk, to reconstruct fully the second meson in the event, in the pixel forest decay event. Uh, and <coughs> in this case, we have one, all, all particles contributed here and, and single charge track from uh, town decay. In addition, we, we, we should see no energy deposition uh, in the detector. So the signal is absence of the energy deposition in the detector. It's here or here, and uh, uh, this is the result now. And this is extrusion region from, from the measurement of the branching in the town. So, sorry, it's not updated still. Uh, it's quite old one, but it will not be changed too much. And uh, we exclude actually in this plane a huge, a huge region. So mass of the Higgs boson should be more than 300 GeV because of uh, measuring range of radiative pigment decays. And this region is, is excluded to, uh, from uh, measurements of B and the town. And uh, if we compare, CDF managed to exclude probably this region. And Atlas, now, uh, Atlas it was uh, one year ago, excludes this one. And to, to reach to reach uh, this limit, Atlas needs another few years of operation and study, uh, which already excluded by B factories measurements. Uh, my final uh, final uh, experimental result is uh, being the detail new, which is again sensitive to uh, Higgs contribution, charged Higgs contribution, because. Uh, if, 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 if charged Higgs doesn't contribute to uh, usual semi-electronic decays, but in case of tau, uh, the coupling of Higgs to tau is larger, it's proportional to the mass of tau, so it, it can increase this decay. And what we see now is again some, okay, not very much significant, but still it's about 3.4 sigma, uh, just from new Babar results on these uh, states, which also was presented uh, last year at the ITIP conference. Uh, we have now about 3.4 discrepancy with the standard model uh, in, in the branch direction of B to D tau and discharge tau. Okay, so uh, let me spend some time to discuss the future. Uh, so uh, we we can uh, either try to find new physics, just uh, increasing energy of the of the colliders. Another one is to try to increase uh, the precision. Uh, because up to now we measured uh, everything in beam mesons uh, with precision of about 10%. It means that if there is new physics which is smaller than 10% in amplitude, we can certainly miss it. And uh, the idea is just to increase the sensitivity to, to, for new physics uh, to increase the precision of the measurements. And uh, uh, let me start with kind of KM physics. So in KM part, uh, the interesting branching, interesting channels are electronic uh, channels of KM decay to uh, pi plus two neutrinos. This is purely electronic contribution, which is also sensitive uh, to the new physics. So it's a way to search for new physics in KM decay. And another, uh, if there is no new physics, we can <coughs> still have a very uh, useful uh, constraint on the uh, Kobayashi Moscow matrix elements from this case, therefore it's, uh, it would be nice to measure them. But it's very difficult experimentally because two neutrinos and the bridging fraction are very small, so it's 10 to the minus 11. 
and you should find this events on the background of which initially uh, is 11 order of magnitude, 10, 10 order of magnitude larger. It's very difficult. Uh, so the present status that uh, some uh, hint for observation of this decay, of k plus to pi plus two neutrinos, uh, is done at, at uh, beta and uh, they have only seven events with some background. So uh, I think it's the wrong number for uh, error here. Uh, and uh, up to now, k0, 2 by 0, 2 neutrinos is not seen. And the upper limit is still quite far from the extended model expectation. So in future, there is a plan to, have, uh, to, to, to study this decay mode at CERN uh, after uh, 2018. So they expect that after two years of data taking, they, they can uh, get the accuracy of about 10% uh, in the branch threshold for this decay mode. And for K0 by 0, 2 neutrinos, uh, which is the most difficult final state, it's uh, still we cannot hope to observe the signal, but uh, at JPARC they expected uh, to achieve uh, some upper limit, which is already at least of the same order of magnitude as the expectation from the, from the standard model. And this is quite uh, our perspective. Uh, another, another future experiment can be done at the North Sibirsk, uh, and uh, this is a super Charital factory. Uh, it doesn't contribute too much to flavor physics, but still uh, some, some is important, uh, just because the number of uh, charm mesons produced uh, at the Char factory is smaller than the uh, number of dimensions produced at uh, B factory or LHCB. But still, they have uh, uh, they, they, they mostly contribute to hadronic physics. So they can study resonances, they can study production of germonium uh, uh, and uh, dimensions quite nicely. And for tau, tau is also tau physics is also interesting. Uh, and it's still under the question: uh, will, will it be finally approved? So it's uh, waiting for decision on funding and. Uh, next one is uh, projects which are uh, which their future is more, more much better determined. So we have two uh, very nice, uh, very advanced projects for super B factories. One is uh, one uh, was supposed to be built in Italy. Another one is upgrade of the bell detector and bell accelerator, and uh, they are luminosity should be increased by about a factor of uh, 15. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, just recently, the Super B in Italy was killed by Italian government because we have not enough money to, to build it. And this is really pity because if there, if there, will, there will be two, two Super B factories, uh, it will introduce some competition between them, which is extremely fruitful in, in physics. So always competition results in, in better results so than if we have just a single experiment. Uh, fortunately, another project at, at, in Japan is uh, in a quite good condition, so the construction works uh, proceeding quite well. Uh, construction started uh, almost three years ago, and it's now in the middle. So they construct uh, new beam lines, uh, and the detector is also upgrading mostly. So the uh, schedule for future is to start uh, uh, some uh, some uh, test runs already in the 2015 and then starting the real data taking in the beginning of uh, 2016 uh, try to grow up the luminosity and uh, to have in two or three years uh, to get the uh, target luminosity here and finally in uh, uh, 2020 to, to, to get this uh, 15 or something bar which allowed to measure uh, the 
the standard model to the standard model much more precisely in uh, flavor sector. So this is uh, what can be done at uh, super big factories. Uh, the aim is just to find something like like this one. So now we have a very nice uh, agreement between all measurements. But if there is a contribution from new physics, this triangle can be uh, there can appear some disagreement between different measurements. If, for example, uh, supersymmetry contribute to uh, box diagram, so there's uh, three contribution will be. Uh, this one is calculated from three diagrams. There will be some disagreement, and uh, this will be indication of the new physics. And the precision, the region uh, will be decreased, I think, by a factor of 100 here. Uh, again, we will do the same, the same thing with uh, pigment decays, with rare decays, like we to tell you. And uh, the only question is that in addition to increasing the statistical uh, sensitivity, we should also take care of the systematics. So the systematics should be also uh, kept, and theoretical uncertainties also should be kept uh, at the level uh, smaller than experimental errors. Uh, otherwise, we, we will just cannot see new physics uh, within this uh, uncertainties. And uh, let me compare the LHCB experiment and the super factory. Uh, we have just few regions where both of them can contribute well. Uh, mostly they uh, we have either LHCB, for example, for a real precision test of uh, in the sub-S sector, we, we can do this only at LHCB. Uh, some rare decay modes we can do only at B factory. And uh, so Probably, uh, probably we can find that uh, new physics in some disagreements between uh, different measurements. So we, we need to cover everything, and we can see that uh, they all together they cover everything, but not uh, uh, the single experiment is not enough. So uh, they, uh, we need both of them to study the uh, heavy flavor physics and the physical tasks are quite complementary. Okay, so I came to the end. So my conclusion is that the now the sensitivity uh, of the searches for new physics is about 10%, so we cannot exclude some contributions from new physics at the level of, uh, if, if they contribute smaller than 10%. And in 5 or, two or 10 years, it will be improved by, by an order of magnitude. So we uh, probably will find new things. Okay, see you. Thank you very much for this uh, uh, description of the alternative approach for searches for new physics. Uh, questions? Yeah. I think I missed something, but uh, I don't understand uh, how you want to measure C CP uh, uh, another from the stand, uh, as a, in a standard model. Uh, in the standard model, you uh, measure CP from uh, CK matrix, and uh, its element uh, obtained uh, only uh, experiment. But uh, how you will understand that it is a uh, violation of uh, uh, oh. standard model CP because yeah because it's because it's 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 in some in some sense I can predict uh, the expected uh, value of CP violation in standard model. For example, I can predict uh, the sine of two beta, the, the value of CP violation in the B integer psychic shot from the measurement of the side of this triangle. So if I if I measure the sides, uh, I know the angle. Yeah. This is roughly speaking. So I, if, if I measure all these three sides, uh, I know this angle. If I see that uh, the measured angle is different from this beta, I can conclude that there is something new. Something new can, can, uh, can contribute only to the box diagram of BB bar mixing. So the phase of BB bar mixing uh, box diagram is different from what I expect from the standard model for CKM. 
So you compare different uh, yes. experience? Uh, I, different, uh, I, I would say channels. that I compare, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, I, I need to have uh, several measurements to, and uh, if I find some disagreement between them, this, this is just a simple example that if I uh, have one measurement of the angle beta uh, from sides and another from uh, CP violation and they disagree, this means that there is something in the box there. And uh, in another channel, new physics can in, uh, for example, for gamma determination, we used uh, only, only three diagrams. And in three diagrams, we cannot expect new physics contribution besides probably the charges Higgs, which can substitute W both. So for uh, gamma, we measure B in the uh, D0K, which is just uh, uh, B plus in the D0K plus, so it's, it's like this diagram. Uh, probably charge Higgs can contribute here, but we already excluded it from uh, much more precisely from another two case mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, coupling is proportional to the mass. And it means that uh, we, if we measure gamma very accurately, we perfectly know that this is gamma from CKI matrix, from CKI unitary triangle. And if uh, two other angles which involve mixing of B metals are not consistent with this gamma, I, I can find new physics. Yeah. Other questions? When you're talking about percent level, you need to make sure that the radical predictions theoretical calculations are equally good. <coughs> but you're dealing with QCD, so in, more, in many cases uh, the uncertainties might be quite large. Do you expect progress in this direction and what kind of progress one would expect? Uh, I would say that uh, there was a great progress during the last 10 years, so in, in, in parallel to uh, new experimental observations there was a number of uh, new theoretical approaches. Uh, mostly, they are not, uh, this is not a progress in calculations. This is a progress in, in, some, in inventing some tricky things, how to avoid them. So we mostly think how to avoid uh, theoretical, uh, sorry, uh, QCD uncertainties. Uh, we, uh, together with theorists, we experimentalists and theorists, uh, just together, uh, we search the way how to measure something uh, in reliable ways. Uh, this requires both wisdom of uh, theory people and uh, experience of experimental people. And this was done uh, last 10 years uh, because this uh, finally, uh, this uh, accuracy which, which is achieved at B factories, it wasn't predicted 10 years ago. So experimentally, uh, both uh, B factories worked very nice, much better than expected. And the, the precision uh, they achieved is much better than expected 10 years ago. Uh, so, uh, and this is not only because of uh, hard work of experimentalists, but because of contribution of theory people who contributed to this. Therefore, we can, we can expect that we will have new ideas how to reduce uh, theoretical uncertainties. Down to 1% level. To one percent level, yes. Otherwise, we don't use this this for uh, for constraining. Yeah. Uh, can add that, uh, that there are new new ideas how to uh, avoid this uncertainty. For example, this method for uh, uh, angle determination using uh, Dalitz plot analysis. Uh, the idea is to to rely just on real data without any theoretical input finally and uh, so uh, this also uh, can help. More questions? If not, let's thank uh,